into the Shulian uh, overground, basically, into the regular uh, world. Uh, you decided to go back to the old man, whereupon you found that um, the best idea would probably be to go and just sort of think about what exactly was going on and try and find <coughs> more information. Uh, mm -hmm. And he basically gave you a tele another teleportation scroll, told you that he was going to be in the mansion, and you all teleported to uh, what appeared to be where he told you a spell jamming ship. Uh, one of the ships that had uh, what's the word? Crashed. Uh, crashed. Yes, but uh, one of the ships that you had basically seen uh, some of the similar ships that you had seen in the uh, the city underground. Mm -hmm. Um, you arrived to find a very small number of uh, Sahuagin with one large leader. You very quickly dispatched them um, and then took to the air with the Hammerhead ship and made your way towards uh, Falkirk. And that is where we left. If there's any other thing you want to tell Rava, or tell Madman, rather, I should say. Go ahead now, because that's pretty much all I <laughs> could... Yeah. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Just, just in you general, go. because we're telling Rava things, sit down, be quiet, don't touch that. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, uh, best thing, Cindric uh, wasn't even looking at Rava at the time, <laughs> but Rava was just about to poke, like, a very important button, like, oh, okay. <laughs> just, just generally, every every ten minutes or so, just <laughs> sit down, don't move, don't touch that. I'm being super quiet. How? <laughs> That's the worrying part. When you're super quiet, we worry more. Uh, I'm totally <laughs> not walking around still right now. Still sit down. Still don't touch that. Damn it. We're only worrying if you're quiet or if you make noise. <laughs> yep. Even if you're sitting still on the floor meditating, we still will say, sit still, don't touch that, because you're thinking about getting up and touching something. <gasps> you can read minds, too. Uh, yeah, so is there anything else you guys want to say about the recap or what happened today before he, he arrived? Uh, I will say that you are basically... Currently looking around the uh, the ship. Mm -hmm. No, nope, I'm sitting down and well, being quiet. <laughs> Bogart and Galar. <laughs> yeah. See, I listen sometimes. Uh, they did find um, a number of chests. Bogart destroyed them. Uh, uh, them only destroyed of two. two of them. Yeah, found we three chests. We should have told Bogart to sit down and not touch that as well. And a magical orb, uh -huh. uh, which was mostly shattered. Lots of uh, spiders in the in the glass. Anything that broke that easily wasn't worth anything. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't break. It's just it's hurt. <laughs> it's destroyed. Wait, so let me get this straight. There are spiders but, in the glass. As in the the glass spidered. Have you ever heard that? Oh, oh okay. A spider, I was about a, to say a spider I, web breakage pattern. Okay. If, if I if I break open a chest and there's spiders inside of it, fireballing them all. No, no. That's <laughs> yeah, that's not. what I was thinking. Like, how how are you of all people allowing this? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, no, that's not happening. Uh, there are rats in some of the crates and insects. In some of the grates, uh, in the the cargo bay, food for Toby. Uh, by the way, I sh sh just to show you, <laughs> Madman. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, just to show you what you got. Uh, How many does it take to operate it? 24 people? Currently it takes one person, but in order for you to do any sort of maneuvers or anything like that, uh, it would probably take about... uh, About ten people. Mm -hmm. In order to to do, like any real spacefaring. Yeah. So, and since Rob is on board, you probably have to have 15 people. <laughs> just to compensate for the breakage. Uh, but there is, and it's pretty obvious because as soon as you get on and then walk down, you find this little uh, ditty <coughs> in the cargo bay as well. Cool. Docked inside. Uh, no weapons, but dragonfly, which is uh, only requires one person, and that person cannot be Ravel. Too late. No, kidding. The rest of the people can just. No, we're, walk. we're not. We're not doing this like we did with the um, the apparatus. <laughs> just <laughs> giving it to Rava and then walking away. Yes, no. do that. Go ahead. I mean, to be fair, he did a pretty good job with it. <laughs> to be fair, because there were know. only four levers or five. I did scare the shit out of Tom's people when I. Uh, yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. Guys, is my uh, webcam working? Uh, it uh, was, and then it wasn't, and then it was, and uh, then it wasn't. Yeah, and the uh, it was really very weird. bad quality, right? Yeah, yeah it had right. like a very weird stained glass. Look. I thought you yeah. had a filter on, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of thought that as well. I, I did. I not. thought you were just being eaten by the sun, to be honest. I, I mean, I uh, I, I'm, I am a ginger, ginger, so that yeah, is exactly. a possibility. Yeah. Wait, no, <laughs> do ships they go based on your thoughts, right? They go based on your magic. Yeah, but like where you think for them to go is how you control them, right? Sort of. Kind of, yeah. I'm just worried about Rava flying anything that reads off of his thoughts. <laughs> I don't like, think have to, can, he would have to cannot actively, comprehend my thoughts. He would have to actively know what he's doing to do it. <laughs> is not compatible. Is not <laughs> compatible. Hey, I might be a natural. You don't know. I don't the think spell, has uh, the spell jamming helm just kind of you see a puff of smoke come out of it <laughs> and it doesn't work anymore. A little white flag uh-huh. comes up that says I surrender. Is there anything else on the ship that you would like to look at? Uh you look at the kitchen. Were we able to open all the doors? Yeah, you, you're able to open all the doors except for the captain's quarters. I will go and open that door. How? No, you don't want to do that. Not with your bare hands. Why not? It worked it's the last crap. time. This one's magical. See, it doesn't even How have a handle. That door? Well, if it's magical, then you guys open it. You're the magic ones. I'm driving. Yeah, he's driving, so I gotta work it out. <laughs> See, I'm just kind of staring for a minute. I'll I leave it. him to stare and go to the kitchen. Let me know when you get it open. So you go to the kitchen and find it in disarray. Uh, There are lots of utensils. Rusted. Mm. Rava, come here. Huh? What? You see all of these things that are Mm -hmm. dirty and rusty? If you you take this, I imagine there's a Brillo pad and a deep sink, right? Uh, Brillo pad? Like to scrub it's a, it's a wire wash. mesh. Yeah, wire mesh brush. Uh, for, for all, yeah, probably. Like, if you take this and you scrub it against this under that, it'll get shiny. Pretty sure that's slave labor. <laughs> <laughs> Not if he wants to do it. <laughs> oh, that's a great justification. <laughs> and then and then I uh, I will set to work taking care of the bigger things that, are, that need to be fixed, like scrubbing. I'm not going to just make him clean everything. I'll start okay. scrubbing surfaces and... 
getting it workable. They're not working I for mean, me. I guess you're starting with a pan, other. and you turn around five seconds later, you can just hear him going, bored. I'm so bored. But uh, you're going to make this shiny. Uh, okay, I have okay. shiny. I give him a little piece of the fruit. Oh, the fruit? Yeah, I give him oh, like a little no. piece. Of the... <sighs> Hold on, one sec. With a little <laughs> bit of moon sugar sprinkled on top? <laughs> Just a combo. Do you think this is a good idea while he is like 500 feet in the air flying? I he might, he might be can fly. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> it's like someone going into an airplane while tripping balls. I don't I think it's a good idea. Touch the sky. Ah! <laughs> Literally, I can walk on the clouds. Yeah, fluffy. I'm trying to channel Rava into something productive by mildly is, drugging him. Is that productive? Okay. Go open your door. <laughs> I'm taking drugs. So you give him the the gungi fruit, the drugs. A little piece of fruit with some moon okay. sugar sprinkled on top. Like uh, barely a pinch. Drugs with drugs on top. Got it. Oh gee, okay. Roll me, um, roll me a Constitution check, Rava. Uh, you bo Boga, roll me a Dex plus proficiency check. <laughs> Is he proficient to handle Rava? <laughs> proficient at making drugs at this point? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> He's not doing. Yeah, that's the, that's a cleaning check. Dex um, plus there you go. proficiency. Plus proficiency. What is your proficiency? It's plus three? No, plus four. So twenty. Four, so twenty. Okay. Um, so uh, Rava, you uh, you suddenly feel yourself very motivated and very <laughs> fascinated. Sure. I guess then he's more productive in the kitchen now. Yes. So it works. Yes. Um, unfortunately, you have to go over to him and make him stop scrubbing a pan every single time you want him to, to change. Because he will continue to scrub the pan until it is no longer a pan. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. This is just a distractive measure, nothing else. Mm-hmm. Uh... Anyway, so go. What are you doing? I'm gonna dispel magic that door at fifth level. Okay, can you click dispel magic for me? Just want to see something. Um, right out my character sheet, I would. Do I have it? Or am I blind? You got spell magic, yeah. Yeah, I'm blind. That's why. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Hello? Test, test, okay. yeah. It's a lot more simpler than the other one. What test? No, I'm, I'm having Skype tr troubles and I don't know why. Oh, it's the webcam, that's why. Uh, alright. 
You guys go ahead. I will uh, turn off my computer and turn it on again. Okay. Roll me a uh, DC 10 plus blah, blah, blah. Just a spellcasting ability modifier. Check. Okay. So 10 plus my mod, you said? No, no. Roll, roll, uh... Just regular uh, ability modifier. Like, your, uh... What do... Your wisdom. Roll oh, okay. D20 plus wisdom. 18. Uh, you watch as the... A glyph appears. Uh, as you cast the spell magic and then it just winks out and the door actually begins to creak open Alrighty, walk in uh, you walk in uh, and you see what appears to be a uh, rather nice captain's quarters uh, with a number of uh, stocked books um a very nice sort of commander's table with a map. Uh, you see what appears to be a number of um, circles and a bunch of different um, uh, like pegs on the board, if that makes sense. Does it look like, like a war map? It does look like a war map, except it looks really big. Uh, like, the span of it looks as if it spans a large, large area. Um, it looks similar almost to some of the maps that you know Syndric has. Um, you see there is a... Um, Uh, the desk, <laughs> which has a small globe of what appears to be Sulia, uh, an antique case with a spyglass open, uh, with a pillow, pillow, sort of like a velvet case, with the um, the spyglass on top of it, um. You see glasses and what appears to be a club with a hole in it, which seems to be made of metal at the ends. Sorry, what? A, a what? A club with a hole in it, which seems to be made of metal at the at a certain part. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I take everything in this room and drag it back out. It has a number of different weird gears on the side of it. It looks like this. <laughs> Doga, that looks like the blunderbuss, doesn't it? It does kind of look like that, yeah, but smaller. Is the hammer? I mean, I don't know it's a hammer, but is the hammer pulled back? Uh, no. Try hitting a nail with okay. it, and maybe you'll see. Uh, take everything out and show it to everyone. Okay. Oh, uh, I immediately pick up the little gun. You're like, oh, wow, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna point it I'm gonna point it out over the deck and squeeze the trigger and see what happens. You hear large boom and you see something fly off in the distance and there's lots of smoke. Yep, it works like the other one. <laughs> it also makes fire? Okay. Do you pull the other trigger? There's two triggers. <laughs> oh there two is triggers. two triggers. Uh, yeah. Same thing. It's double barreled. Nice. You can fire it twice at once. 
This is awesome. Bogart's just excited. Does it work if I try and pull them again? Nope. Oh, I probably have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> just goes click now. Uh, <laughs> how, long, like how, how long is it going to take to figure out that that's a mechanical reload? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a long time. It doesn't wow. recharge. It's so weird. Maybe it was just a single Why did you fire my gun before I woke up, Rava? Why would you uh, fire? Uh, but so. Is there anything else you guys want to do before you arrive at Falkirk? Sleep. Mm. Where did you find all of this stuff? <coughs> uh, in the captain's quarters. Oh, is that the magic door? Yeah, it's open now. It's no longer magical. You made it on magic? Yeah. It's good. Good job. I kind of pat you on the head. Don't. Please don't ever do that again. I'm not a, I'm not an animal. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I that depends on who you ask, I suppose. There is one more thing. Uh, greater restoration on the good old Rava. If I can get to him, is he gonna let me near him? Yeah, I, I, I am cleaning. Rava's busy. He's being productive. Don't bother him. What is wrong with you? Like, Bogart's looking at you genuinely worried. Like, why would you stop productive Rava? What is wrong with you? I'm gonna go remove the curses on him. Scrub, scrub, scrub. What curses? What? You haven't noticed he slept so long recently? Why don't we wait until he is no longer focused on cleaning? To do that, do you do that when he goes to sleep tonight? I yeah. am scrubbing. I am scrubbing. Best is scrubbing. Best is scrubbing. That's Rav. Rav is best is scrubbing. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm so glad I'm Okay. You of all people should be happy about this. You're the one that usually gets stuck watching him. He doesn't say anything, he just walks away. He's like, you get a sense that you've made a very good point to him. <laughs> uh, do you guys look into the dragonfly stuff? Oh yeah, there's a whole other ship. We should search it. There's probably chests inside. There is, in fact, and there is uh, another locked magical door. The spell All map. right, you take care of the door. I'll take care of the chest. So you go over to the don't chest. Don't let him break anything else. Now this time, Our I'd like to just don't let him time, break anything else. Uh, I'd like to take a crowbar and carefully remove the lock. Is that possible? Yes. Since I imagine I got a lot of flack for breaking two chests. Yeah, you did. I'm, I'm still <laughs> shouting at you about not breaking anything else. Yeah. I will try not to, but I mean, anything that breaks that easily couldn't be worth much. Do you want to dispel magic again, Gull, before he gets there? Uh, I mean, it, if it goes off before that. Yeah. Roll, roll uh, another d20 plus three. Okay. Oof. Mm, no. Uh, you watch as the glyph appears, and then very slowly disappears. Not I like the other one before. I think I can make it open if I try hard enough. Mm, no. Go to the chests. Okay, I go to the chests. I'll chest. make sure this doesn't explode okay. on us. Roll me athletics with advantage because you're using a crowbar. Okay, dokie. We you need to, the next it. time we're in that special city place. We need to get an adamantine uh, crowbar, uh, or or you could <laughs> you could get you could have gotten the chime of opening, guys. Yeah, that, I know. Remember, you remember that? Bogard thinks. You oh no, I, I knew it was a chime of opening. Yeah. But look, uh, I mean, a crowbar that? is basically a skeleton key, so I think it's fun. 
Chime of opening is also a skill to pee. <laughs> yeah, but, but but Bogart isn't going to be happy unless he actually is doing something physical with it. All right, here's okay. athletics coming at you. Yeah, now. well, you, you go ring, 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 and then it, it just pops open. See, but that's magic things for the magic people to do. I want a non-magic way to open things. Okay, so you uh, you pop it open. Uh, you see the chest is a little bit bent, but it's not nearly as bad as what happened. I don't think I broke this one as bad as the others. Uh, you open it up. Uh, and you find... Holy shit. You find, uh, bars of adamantium. Yay! <laughs> I hug the chest. And then I pull the adamantium bars out. Okay. There are about 20 of them stacked together. I'll just move the whole chest into the main ship area. Were there other chests, or was this the only chest? Uh, there is one more chest. <coughs> I shall do the same for the other chest, then. Once I get back to my character sheet. I don't know why I keep minimizing it. Uh, you find what appears to be a bunch of different um, weird-looking balls in this one. Wow! Like they're almost like ball bearings. Uh, pick one up. How big are they, like? fit in the palm of a hand, fit between yeah, they, two fingers. They definitely, they definitely fit in the palm of your hand. And you can roll them around in your two fingers. Are they heavy? They're pretty heavy. they got a nice little heft. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. These you could probably throw me. one of these. The, the player you know, knows this damage. answer, but the character has no idea. All right, so they're heavy things that I can throw and make things broken. Okay, I'm going to to take one of the bag of holdings that isn't being used for anything else, and I'm going to put all of them into that bag so that when I run out of range thingies, I can just throw these at things. This will be you, useful. You know what you, you think, what comes to your head? These might be sling bullets because you imagine that they have, like, the perfect sort of heft and like good amount of uh, weight to them where you can just pull them back and just sling them straight into someone and really do some good damage. Is there a sling in there? Uh, no. Hmm. There's a lot of powder stuff though. You don't know what that is. What's it smell like? weird like someone farted oh <laughs> well then i'm definitely not going to taste a little bit on my tongue then <laughs> i know what this is out of character doc, but not in character a, doc you have a bizarre sense of what gunpowder smells like <laughs> it doesn't smell like sulfur no it smells no. like rotten eggs doesn't it or well that's yeah, what sulfur no. smells like i don't know what i, I, I quite like does. the smell of gunpowder Gunpowder is anything. It, depends, it smells, it room smells and salt. different after it's been fired. Does it smell like what? Was there a smell when I fired the gun? Uh, yeah, yeah. Does it smell similar? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> then I will take that to the main ship to experiment with. I mean, to keep safe. I would never play with something. Potentially. No, never. Why would you do such a thing? Never. Definitely. So I've loaded the the big ball bearing things into my bag of holding, and I will carry the other two chests to the main ship. Okay. Uh, and then I will in the cargo hold. The, the, the cargo hold is mostly empty with that. Uh, yeah, and then you go to the main ship. Uh, you're gonna try again with another uh, yep. spell magic. Don't okay. fuck me this time. 18. Yet again, you watch as the glyph appears and then disintegrates. And then the door opens. Yeah. Uh, you see a very similar sight to the last one. 
except there is no uh, table. There is no war table, but there is a desk. There are books. There are uh, there is a chest. Uh, there is a bed. There is a globe of Sulia. There is um, actually. I'm sorry. There isn't a globe of Sulia. Uh, there is a globe of a world that you don't recognize. Um, there is a. <clears throat> uh, another one of those uh, clubs, uh, but this one is in a glass case, uh, hung over a mantle. Is it magical? Uh, the yes, it is both the box and the club. Gonna leave it for now till we figure out what the other one is. Okay. Then drag everything else back the globe and chest and everything else. Oh, what did you find? I found all oh. these metal bar bearings and I found this powdery thing. Is there a place on the gun where I can put the powder? Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Wait, do the balls fit into the gun, or are they too yes. big? Oh. <laughs> it, it fits perfectly. Oh, it took a while. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, and you can see the gears turning into Bogart's head. So I sprinkle, I put the powder in the place where it looks like the powder goes, and then I put the balls into the place where it looks like they would go, and then I point it over the side and pull the trigger to see what happens. You hear a little bit of a pop, but nothing happens. Uh, I put more powder one, in next time. There's one step left that you uh, get. I, I would you argue uh, intelligence you, yeah, check. You don't. Hey, hey, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo <laughs> a bugbear. <laughs> Is that the step that was missed? <laughs> that was the intelligence check. Tattoo yep. a bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> There's an intelligence check. Uh, 18. Um, so you you know that there is fire, and where there is fire, there must be... Uh, Water. There has to be some sort of combustion, and where there is combustion, there must be pressure. So you sort of take, like, you're like, okay, and you take some paper, and you push it in. And you like wad it up with the with some of the powder, and you take oh. like, and you jam it in there. Then you pour some more powder in there, and then you put the ball in, and you cock it, aim, and then you fire, and it goes, and fires yet again, just like before. And this figure out how the magic fire gun works. And this is where I become convinced that Doc has never fired a black powder pistol. <laughs> I I know that they're extremely more complicated. Yeah. That's why, but I it's don't. It's D and D. It's fine. Yeah. It's <laughs> like okay. I I'm severely shortening it because otherwise I'd no... never figure it out. <laughs> yeah. A black powder pistol fired in in the way that you just described would probably blow it and the user's arm apart. <laughs> cool. That's great, but this is D and D. I know I'm panicky when it comes to guns. Oh, see, now now I've got this idea for a gun that you challenge somebody to a duel with, and they both explode, and only you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I then reload both the barrels and make a. I kind of stick it in between my belt and the small of my back. Does that make sense? Yep. I go show Cindric. I'm like, look, I found another thing, like the big one that shoots fire and metal. Interesting. Scrap, 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 scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Then give Rob a new pot. Eventually. Rubby. Is he ever gonna go to sleep? 
been you're, awake you're, for a while. You're now. normally complaining that he's asleep. I'm kind of worried about him right now. He's cleaning. Let him clean. I know. I may have given him some of that fruit to keep him focused. <laughs> Rava, suddenly you feel very tired. Uh. Eventually he'll fall asleep. Yeah, he'll he'll sleep beneath the kitchen table. Hmm. You just watch as Rava just goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like uh, curls up to a ball, like uh, 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 scrubbing. Uh, uh. Scrubbing dreams. Yeah. <laughs> He's Cinderella in his dream. <laughs> Bogart is the evil stepmother. Sindrik is one of the evil sisters. <laughs> and um, Gull is the fairy mo good fairy mother. Also, I should just say, Casey, if, if, if we were to do how, you know, you were to a you would actually reload a flintlock pistol in real life, it would take you a lot longer than a round to, oh, yeah. to reload it. Oh, oh yeah. no, 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 so we, a lot we, weren't, than a round. we weren't arguing that at all. You're, you're right. This is definitely much more usable. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I was just being finicky. Yeah. Clicky, 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 clicky. I'll so, get the Falkreath. Uh, so, you guys uh, eventually get to Falkreath. Um, Rob is still asleep. Have we thought of a, like, uh, we're, we're flying in on a ship that nobody's ever seen or thought existed. So, there's Make that. Make sure to make a splash. Yeah. More proof of the dragon's favorites. Oh, well, we have no reason to believe that this was a dragon's. It looks like a shark. Didn't you see the dragon ships? Wouldn't it make sense that dragons would have dragon-shaped ships? None of the people in the town know that, though. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so you're saying you're going to lie. <laughs> no, not at all. Not I'm, not lying. Lying. I'm not saying not I'm going lying. to lie. To I'm just not going to dissuade. Them. Why don't you use? Why don't you use the fact that you have a glowing radiant dragon as the dragon's favor us? Because that's an actual reason we can give them. Does not a lie that the dragon's favor us. I'm just gonna let them assume all of it is the dragon's favor. <laughs> <laughs> Some people will assume that it's the giant's favor. Well, they are Yeah, wrong. maybe this is the giant's favor. Do giants look like giant fish? What? They do do, giant do fish. dragons look like giant fish? Well, see, if you're going to dissuade my idea, I'm going to dissuade your idea. Well, we <laughs> giant shaped ships. We just saw dragon shaped ships. Yeah, so if dragons fly in dragon shaped ships, then giants should fly in giant shaped ships. That means this ship belonged to giant fish. There's no worry I mean, with you. Uh, he's making a good point. Don't you start too? Just saying, he's making a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk off frustrated. <laughs> you people are hopeless to argue with. He left. That means I win the debate. <laughs> no. I turn around so, as as you're thinking that I'm like, this doesn't mean that you win. Within the five within the five <laughs> hours, uh, did you show the globe or whatever you found, go? Oh, we we brought it all out to the um, like we gathered it together. To okay. the, so Sindri go. would would uh, would see all of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, did you show him the the outfit? Any of the outfits? Yes. Moon Carver would say that uh, that looks distinctively human. On that, only a human would think of something so uh, positively uh, fashionless. But ha! I was right. There are humans all over this world, but none of them dressed like that. 
humans. Absolutely. They are not of this world. Hmm. Wait. How many worlds are there again? According to, to the map, it seems that there are many. If these are each worlds... Hmm. This it's globe, it, it, she oh, says, it is. is of Sulia. Why would someone from out of world have globe of Sulia? What is a globe of Sulia? I think a globe is like a circle. <laughs> a globe is a map, but in a spherical shape. A round map. Yes. A round cylindrical object. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't let that pass. <sighs> Ow. Look, it it hurts sometimes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when you when you when you say these things to me. I'm sorry, right. I had to. It's okay, you can get me back later, I'm sure you will. He is right, then it does hurt to think of Doc saying things like that. You've had your moments too, Casey. Oh, I know. Anyway. Okay, but I've never hard. said round cylindrical objects. That's that's true. When you're talking so fucking much, <laughs> it's very easy to just stop thinking and just, <laughs> just start going when you're talking so much, it's easy to stop thinking. That should be a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Yes. It should be. You know, I've actually found a way to make that round cylindrical object work logically. You're lying. Nope. So you think of a circle, right? And yeah. as you're thinking of a circle, <clears throat> the line that draws it is actually a three-dimensional cylindrical object in that line making the circle. Therefore, you have both together. Except you're not drawing a circle, you're drawing Shush! Fear. Yeah, no, that It that kind doesn't... of makes sense. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't say it was perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. It, it's for trying to make from... Doc feel better, damn it. It's for trying to make from... me feel better. Thank you. It's far from perfect. Anyway. So, you uh, are arriving at Falkirk. Um, and you begin to overcast a shadow onto the town itself. Um, and you watch as you see a number of people beginning to come out of their houses uh, and watch in awe as they see this humongous hammerhead shark looking ship uh, begin to make its way over Falkirk very low as well because I'm assuming you guys are going to be landing soon um and you see there are a number of differences, um, though it is mostly the same as where you, you know, when you left. Uh, there are about four different people uh, with great swords and great, uh, rather I should say, full plate. Um, you see Carmine wearing the full plate and the great sword. Uh, you see uh, an old veteran. Uh, you see a plucky-eyed, soldier-looking fellow. Uh, and just an ordinary man. Looks like to be a uh, uh, farmhand, maybe. Uh, looks a little bit uh, uneasy in his full plate. Um, probably in training at the moment. Just out on the street as you are arriving. You also see in the middle of the town a rather large fountain with what appears to be water coming out of the top uh, spouting basically constantly which is almost unheard of in small towns like this uh, especially to be made 
we've seen what three to five days that you've been gone. Mm -hmm. So um, magic, magic, yes. Uh, you see Vaden walk out of his uh, uh, the house that you guys have, and just sort of cross his arms and looks surprised with his eyebrows up, just sort of watching you. Uh, and then you watch as um, behind him from the door uh, you see the son of uh, uh, what's his name? Olarian. Olarian and Olarian himself come out. I'm just up on the deck waving my hand. We come in peace. We're not. It's okay. You don't don't freak out. It's it's okay. Like waving my arms up and down. Uh, so I'm guessing you guys land like outside of town, maybe where the key yeah, would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna land on like the mayor's house or anything. Yeah. Not, yeah, not that I thought about that at all. No, no, of course not. Uh, so you guys land uh, outside of the keep area. Right, right, right outside of the keep area. Uh, where you do see. Um, a number of people still chopping down trees uh, where they began to basically earlier when you left uh, and getting things ready you see a shit ton of lumber piled up basically getting ready for your uh, for your the construction of your keep um, and you do have stone and steel and nails and well, rotted planks, but uh, stuff like that in the hammerhead ship as well. So you have more things for that, as well as adamantium, in fact. Uh -huh, Bars. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so you make your way down, uh, and you, in fact, do see about eight people coming up. With this full, with these full plate, uh, with uh, with great swords, uh, and then another eight people with crossbows, uh, fully armed, ready to basically <coughs> arrive. Um, you see about six or so uh, dragon drakes, like guard guard drakes. Uh, as well, basically arriving uh, to make sure that everything's all right. They're not sure entirely what's going on, and you can see that. I from wave the, uh, down at them. <laughs> Remember me? Aren't you meant to be flying the ship? The helm's on on the open deck, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> oh. It wasn't the thing where we all standing there waving and then look at each other. Hang on. You yeah. are here. They're, Who's they're flying like... the ship? No. No, that's when we figure out it only goes in one direction. <laughs> uh yeah, so you're you're just sort of like <coughs> continuing oh. on and coasting. Uh <coughs> how do you stop it? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I, I think on the really hard shit out of them. stop. Okay, it that hopes. sounds like a statement Rava would make. Just saying. Well, <laughs> think I mean, really hard. Stop. Well, I mean, I've been controlling with my mind so far, so I'll do the same. It's just uh -huh. funny hearing Casey say something Rava would say. That's all. Well, <laughs> Rava says something wise every once in a while. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> How drunk do you get when we drink in the taverns? <laughs> okay, he said something wise once, so um, I'm, I'm comparing myself to that one time. Oh, so you dreamed about Rava once? Yeah. Yeah. I said it was during that whole thing with the wish. It was really weird. Anyway, so you watch as it does, in fact, stop, uh, but it does not seem to go down. It just sort of stops in the air. It, goes, it starts to go slow, slows, slows, and then stops. 
I think we're supposed to use the dragonfly. How far up are we? You're about a hundred foot up. Oh shit! I will just I, I will I will uh, I, I small dive from the I ship. I have a rope. I I start thinking down, down. very slowly. Down yeah. and it goes starts to go down. Yeah. Down. Rob is swan diving from yeah. the ship. Uh, you Rob, swan Rob dive. commits suicide. Brilliant. No, 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 no. I have. I can cast uh, featherfall at will. <laughs> can I like spot for him over the the side? Actually, I think one of my mutations was featherfall, wasn't it? Hold no, on. it was mine. Oh, it was it yours? Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you. Jump I ju and yeah, I, fall. Yeah, I, I jump, but I fall for like 60 feet, and then I do it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and you actually watch as, from underneath, there are uh, leg Oi. stands, basically. Oi. Uh, large iron poles Oi, that come down from the, uh, the hammerhead's uh, underbelly and just sort of stop it. And... So Dig as as, as he's feather falling, we just kind of land on top of him. <laughs> no, no, he's running. He doesn't land. <laughs> Can I like look over the side and kind of like spot for him, and like all, almost <laughs> almost wait wait a little little to the right, little little yeah. <laughs> stop stop, and then it just stops, injects <laughs> it almost injects itself with these. <laughs> Large poles into the ground. You can hear, it. you can hear <coughs> with the big scratch, like on the side while 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 uh, he's saying "Go down, go down." Yeah, on one of the trees. Uh, and you watch as all of these people are just sort of like walking over. Now, not not hostile, uh, not like sort of ready yeah, to, they... to fight. They recognize us. They did recognize you, yeah. Okay. Uh, but they're we more have like in awe now. Returned, triumphant. Uh, you see one of the <coughs> one of the people just sort of start clapping. Me and <laughs> me and Mitney fly down like over the edge of the ship and then down. We have also found a dragon. <laughs> and as that happens, everybody else starts clapping, and they, you, you watch as pretty much the entire crowd begins to come in and whoop and clap and yeah, there's there's a big, big celebration. Yeah, of we, your we arrival. went by boat here. Yeah. It was crazy, like up in the sky. And I've just thought about this. But I am not your herald. I'll whisper <laughs> over to Cindric over the clap under the clapping. Like this doesn't mean I'm your herald or anything. <laughs> um, it, it here kind, ye, here it kind ye. of might do. Yeah. Well, people don't typically enjoy talking to you, so it might not be a bad idea to get somebody to do it for you. You seem to be doing a very good job. It's very unusual. <laughs> what, me saying that you're doing a good job? That is. No, me doing a good job at talking to things <laughs> that doesn't end in me fighting things. Yeah, it is. And, uh, right. But yeah, you're, you're beginning to watch most of the townspeople coming out and uh, coming down towards the keep area and seeing what all the commotion is and seeing the dragon and there is just this large group of people talking, and you can hear this, this sound of everybody talking at once. Mm. This cacophony of, of you know, sound, basically. I can't hear you, baby. Yes, we are lack very of a awesome. Term. Well, one of you go later. Uh, Should we make them give oh, tribute? Right. <laughs> And it just doesn't door. seem like there's going to be any stopping. And you watch as say. a lot of them are starting to come closer and closer, and they really want some sort of, you know, like they want to touch it, they want to do something. 
<clears throat> um, Doc, can what? I try to crowd surf? You're not sure if they want to touch the dragon, or if they want to touch the ship, or if they want to touch you, or the, if they yeah, want to... Yeah, the ship is yeah. fine. That, that, that sounds like a good idea. Um, everyone coming towards Mitni, not a great idea. So, but are you still flying? Well, no, I've landed. Okay. Yes, yeah, some people are coming towards Mitney. What's Mitney? Mitney is the... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, a big, that was a big thing. The egg hatched. The egg oh, hatched. shit, it did? Yeah. yeah. It's a awesome. light dragon. I, ha I have a radiant dragon. Awesome. Yes. It eats light. It eats light? Yes. It eats light. That's... So, it's darkness around it? Or... No, 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 no. like... It consumes light as food. It consumes light, and it is light. So it's so... It's a tester. Yeah, basically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, they... You watch as, um... A lot of the the townspeople are trying to grab at Mitney, and, uh... The full-plated guys just sort of immediately just... Fucking one of them clotheslines <laughs> one of the other people. <laughs> Maybe that's a and bit extreme, just, but uh, immediately yeah, but we do begins to like block them. Yeah, uh, and there's a lot of commotion and everything. Kill like them. That. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say that. I whispered it. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should definitely take care of that curse now. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't I tell you guys I'm chaotic evil, actually? So, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but definitely just, chaotic. Of, most of them are pretty much... They're not even fathoming the fact that there is a dragon. Uh, they are mostly just sort of looking at the ship and going, ooh, ah, the ship. Uh, most of them are almost floored at all of it. Hmm. And you see a lot of them just sort of just going over to the ship and touching it. Just sort of like, is this real? Is this real life? Yes. Uh, and you hear lots and lots of talk in general. Lots mm -hmm. of, like, Oh my goodness, what is this? It was flying. Did you see it fly? Oh my goodness. And uh, by uh, by the graces of the last dragon, and by the graces of the last giant, and 